Hey there, thanks for joining me on this tutorial. Today I'm going to go over looping your video in DVD Architect but still being able to have your menu. This is kind of going on a different tutorial I made about looping your videos or actually linking them together. And that's really similar to what you're going to do. So file, new, you're going to choose a menu base and you're going to make sure it's 16.9 if you're shooting HD. And you have this menu and I just always delete that and then you can put in a picture of some sort if you'd like. You're going to insert your media so you're going to go find that. Okay and so once you have your video in here loaded then you can add your own custom background if you would like to and then you would just you know find the image that you've created I actually I can't find the one I created for this project but or you can go down here and you can go into one of the presets okay so once your media is loaded you got your background change to however you would want it, double click on your media. I've already had my chapter points put in here from Sony Vegas but if you wanted to do that you could just come along and hit M or down here I think insert. Just put a bunch of these in here wherever you would want. Kind of make sure you have one right near the end because then when you go next, 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 and then you're waiting for your video to loop again, um, you know, if you had a five minute time frame after your last chapter, then they'd be sitting there for five minutes unless you just hit scan. But on your DVD player, there's you're limited. From there, you just go up to end action. You go up to end action and you can see on the command it's linked so you would think oh that's you know linked but you have to go down to destination and give it one so then you just make sure you choose the video and there you go that's it so while people are waiting now my scenario was somebody um, had a memorial so they can have like this really nice photo of their loved one up here and then the person who is controlling the video can just wait for that moment and then play the video if they're going to be showing it formally at a memorial service which in this scenario they were so that's how I ended up making it where before I just um, you know let it end but I've been requested before for it to actually loop so when everybody's walking out that it would just keep continuing to play over and over until somebody went back up and stopped it so here it is it was so easy when I figured it out but it took me what mm, five years to actually get there but it's just through that need when something happens you need something and all of a sudden you figure it out and that's why I make these tutorials so hopefully uh, that answers your question in fast enough time. So thanks for watching.